You know, when I think of Rosanna and Johannes, I think of integrity, honesty, and really commitment. Commitment to family, commitment to their employees, their guests, and commitment to our community. Oh yeah, we are very happy that uh, the family uh, really at home in this valley. They have friends and they have a good standing and their children and grandchildren, everything is fine and for us, as we are old now, could not be better. Could not be better. It's, it's wonderful for us as, uh, as uh, parents and grandparents that uh, they found a home over there. In uh, 79, there was in Europe a really difficult time and an end uh, came to Vail. And uh, we started this little motel as a second Son Alp in the Colorado Mountains. What the Son and Alp did was it raised the level of hospitality in the Vail Valley to a whole new era. Suddenly, we had a, not just a first-class, but a world-class hotel. In that short time in the beginning, we found very good friends, like the founder of, uh, of Vail, Pete Seibert, and then the Shaika and Baby Gramsummer, and the Gorsuch family, and Rod Slifer, he was a mayor at that time. They had kids, and those kids went with Johannes' kids to Mountain School. And it's so beautiful for us to see, and uh, well, they all love this beautiful valley. Their contributions to this community are endless. They have been tied to multiple other nonprofit organizations, the hospital, their contributions to other businesses that needed to get started, and the various charities that help lift up every aspect of this community. Johannes and Rosanna have been tremendous supporters of the Vail Valley Foundation, certainly, but also the Sun and Elk Breast Imaging Center would not be in our community today without their leadership. We built the Shaw Cancer Facility in 2001, and Rosanna came to me, actually before it had opened, and said that she would like to do something with breast imaging. So one day, I toured Rosanna around this empty space. We were outside the building, peering through the windows, and I said, this space would make a great breast center. So off she went, and the next thing we knew, they were giving us this space for the breast center that Rosanna had envisioned. Their impact there was, was extraordinary. And the main focus from Rosanna always was, I want my money used for this purpose. And she was very, very focused on that. And she was great at holding us accountable. But with the monies that they raised through the Sona Now Golf Tournament, you know, we were able to buy a lot of equipment and, and, and get a lot of technology that we wouldn't have had. Before the breast center was opened, uh, there was very basic breast imaging at the Vail Health Hospital. There was no diagnostic imaging. There was no evaluation of lumps. There was no biopsy capability. There was no ultrasound, breast ultrasound. There was no breast MRI. And Rosanna obviously had realized that her foundation funded an ultrasound machine and a mammography unit. And in fact, we were the first people in the mountains to get a digital mammography unit. All throughout the years, we would meet with her and uh, she would want to know what was the next technology, what can we do for you, what do you need next? She would make it happen. Uh, the Fesslers have always been uh, leaders and early adopters when it comes to environmental stewardship and sustainability. And I first got to know them in the late 1990s when I was starting a project uh, that is now Walking Mountain Science Center. And I needed a place to convene our community leaders and tell them all about my idea to start a science school. And uh, Johannes offered up the Sonnen Alp and we had some amazing people come together and some conversations there that were truly transformative and continue to this day to support Walking Mountains. Johannes has always really incorporated environmental best practices and sustainability within the Sonnenalp. He's been doing it for a very, very long time. And they're always among the first to try new things out too because they realize that the environment that we have today, um, you know, really demands stewardship, active stewardship, so that the future generations can experience the same quality of life that we do today. The Eco Trails program was born after a mass transportation sales tax was passed here in Eagle County in 1995, but 
Because of a group of concerned citizens, a 10% share of that tax was carved out to build a paved trail system. A citizens committee was created and Johannes stepped forward to serve on that. It became clear pretty fast uh, that the effort to build the trail, which was going to be a 63 mile connected system, all the way from Dotsero to Red Cliff to Vale Pass was going to be an enormous task. But Johannes and Rosanna were very committed, so much so that their foundation wanted to contribute all the proceeds from the Casual Classic to Eco Trails. During the COVID pandemic, the foundation decided that we needed to pull together a steering committee, and we asked Johannes to chair it. Again, a perfect example of embracing something new. And that's what he did. His role in that regard is pretty significant. The Community Engagement Committee is really our organization's ability to look at this community and identify significant need, and then bring together individuals, government, and corporations to achieve really wonderful things that one person or entity couldn't do on their own. And Johannes Fessler is a huge reason why that exists today and he's certainly the right leader for it. The thing that I noticed about Johannes when he was serving on the committee, and he still is, he's very much a listener, a thinker, and a problem solver. You could see the gears turning when he realized what we were up against. My relationship with Rosanna was one of, I think, mutual trust, and certainly my admiration for her for everything that she accomplished. I met her maybe at a first golf tournament before I even started coming up here. She was beautiful and engaging, and I didn't know then how dynamic she was. <laughs> if I had to have three words to describe the Fesslers, I would say warm, friendly, and generous. Genuine, authentic, and caring. Kind, dedicated, humble. Thoughtful, generous, and real. It's always really impressive when you see individuals like them that had a vision and then with incredible work ethic over a period of decades made that vision into reality. They truly care about the community and I feel like Johannes um, has been a, a great sort of role model and, and mentor for me over the years. They're vested long term in the community just like the Sonnen Alp will be a, a part of this community for the foreseeable future well so will the Fesslers. They were tireless in their efforts to create something special and raised a beautiful family here and although their business grew and was successful they gave back every step of the way. They're part of the integrity of our community. They're part of the leadership. They didn't come here for a short time. They came here to build their lives and to enhance the lives of everybody else in our community and they've certainly done that in spades. Rosanna and Johannes, congratulations. Congratulations, Rosanna and Johannes. Congratulations of being uh, the Vale Valley Citizens of the Year. Our very, very best wishes for this award, for you and for the whole family. We are very, very proud and happy. Rosanna and Johannes, congratulations. Thank you for everything. You not only are most deserving for, of this award, but you have certainly earned it. Congratulations, Rosanna and Johannes, on being the 2022 Vale Valley Citizens of the Year.